Hey, it's Becky Fox here and I'm at the Critical Bench Compound. And today I'm gonna show you some light arm dumbbell workout moves. So let's go ahead and get into this. All right, so let's go ahead and grab some weights. All right, so with this, you wanna make sure you're picking a weight that's challenging. I know it can be scary. You think you're gonna bulk up like Arnold Schwarzenegger, but if you actually wanna get the tone in those arms, then you're gonna to wanna to pick a weight that's challenging, that you can feel the burn at the end of the move. And don't worry, you're not gonna get big and bulky. You're gonna get nice and toned and lean, sexy arms. All right, so we're gonna go through three exercises here. We're gonna do a Zotman curl, a tricep kickback, and then we're gonna work those shoulders with a front side raise. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and go through this circuit three times, and you can take a break after each circuit, shake those arms a little bit, take a 30 to second break, but then keep on moving right through the circuit to get the most out of these exercises. All right, our first move is up and we're gonna do these Zotman curls. This is a great move to not just work your biceps, the front of your arms, but to work those forearms and those wrists too. We spend a lot of times on our phones, on our computers. We wanna keep those muscles down in our forearms here, strong as well as up here in those biceps in the front of those arms. So let's go ahead and do this. So just stand nice and tall here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with just a regular curl. So our forearms are gonna be forward. We're gonna curl up to those shoulders. But here's the trick. We're gonna flip this bad boy around so our wrists are facing forward and nice and slowly bring it down. Now this, I make this look easy, but whew, you're gonna feel this burn in those far, forearms as well. So right here, we're gonna twist back forward. We're gonna squeeze up, really feel that in the biceps, those front of those arms. Twist it around just like that. Palms are facing forward here and take your time. I know we wanna rush, we wanna get through it, but I really want you to slow down Feel the burn and really do this move nice and slow. Let's twist it back around, curl it up, squeeze, just like this, and then flip it around. So your goal is to shoot for 10 of these and really move through it nice and slow. Awesome, let's bring it all the way down, just like that. All right, next up is gonna be a tricep kickback. So we work the front of the arms. Well, let's go ahead and get that jiggle in the back side. So I'm gonna take it to the side here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna take my feet about hip width apart. From there, I'm gonna push my hips back. Okay, and keep my back nice and flat. From there, I just want you to pull your arms up by your side. Now I want you to glue those elbows right in by your sides. Don't let them go anywhere. And all you're gonna do is straighten your arms out. So squeeze it back, really straighten out through that. Oh, you're gonna feel that squeeze in the backside and then bring it back in. Really important, you straighten out as much as you can and squeeze the triceps right there. Good, keep going here. Squeeze, 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 straighten it out. Again, taking your time, nice slow movements here, really feeling those triceps right there. Squeeze it, even hold it there for a second. Bring it in, we're gonna do one more together just like this. And your goal is to shoot for 10 of these in this workout. All right, next up, let's work those shoulders. So we got the front of the arms, we got the back of the arms. Let's get the top part of those arms. So again, just stand up nice and tall. I like to get those feet under those hips. So don't be standing like this. Nice, tall, <laughs> nice standing up nice and tall. This actually gets your core working a little bit too and we have really nice, good posture. All right, so what you're gonna do is we're gonna lift to the shoulders, shoulder height, back down, okay? And then we're gonna lift out to the side. Whoo, oh yeah, gets a little heavier there. So this is a great move to hit both angles here on the shoulders, changing it up a little bit. Keep a little bend in those elbows for me. Yes, yeah, just like this, so lift at shoulder height, standing up nice and tall, out to the side, okay? You may need to drop your weight down just a tad here, because we wanna make sure we're not swinging with the body. So you wanna keep your body nice and tall, make sure you're not arching back as you do this, and just take your time, nice, slow movements, just like that. Okay, and 10 of those as well. So you're probably wondering how often you should do this workout. Now, if you're doing it, you know, every few weeks or even once a week, you're probably not gonna see the results that you want and see those nice shapely arms and shoulders. So what I recommend is at least two to three times a week, you're getting this in because consistency is really where it's at and that's gonna pay off in the long run to give you the tone that you're looking for. So of course, mix this in with your other workouts so you're getting your core, so you're getting your legs and all that too. By doing this two to three times a week, you're really gonna start to see those arms tone up and look super nice. 
<laughs> Thanks so much for joining me for this workout. Oh, I'm feeling it in my arms and I hope you are at home too. Now, if you enjoyed this workout, we actually have a firm and tight 10 minute mini band workouts. And these are great follow along workouts to tone and shape your entire body, not just your arms. And the cool part is it comes with these really awesome bands. This comes along with the workouts so you don't have to go buy them separate. And they're a great way to strengthen and tone your body. So be sure to click the pinned comment below to get more details. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, let us know in a comment below and hit that like button.